What's poppin? It's if another video of my entire face. Like, yo. I know some of you guys are like, wait, wait a minute. What is this guy dragging us into? I thought he was doing charts only. I lied. I'm sorry. So I want to go over uh, a few different ways to be more frugal. Because um, I dropped a video back at the beginning of the year of like three habits that like could change your life or whatever. Something along the lines of that. And one of them was something that I'm going to go over today. And people have been asking me like, oh, what are some things you do to be more frugal and things like that? So I've just made up a quick list and I'm going to go over them because these things are like, it's just building habits, right? And I feel like this stuff is going to be even more beneficial for you if you're living at home and you don't have too many expenses if you could develop this habit before moving out, then it's even better because when I talk to people who are living on their own, they pretty much say that like it's so hard to, you know, manage money in that way. So and by the way, this directly goes into trading stocks and investing. Like I honestly think why I'm better at managing my stock money is because I've developed this pattern and this habit for years before I even had money to put in the markets. But yeah, so pretty much like right off the bat, like it's going to be gut wrenching. I'm letting you know. So if you're watching this and you actually do want to try it, if you have like a fragile little ego, then <laughs> yo, just get ready for it to like shatter a bit because it you start to realize like, holy shit, what am I doing? Which is good, right? Like if you want to, if you're into self-improvement and you want to like get better when it comes to managing your money or be more financially literate this is like the staple here so like right off the hop write down everything you've spent over the past three months and you're gonna be like <laughs> it might even be annoying because you got to go download an app or you got to go back into your bank account or whatever right but write it down like i i use i like to journal you guys know that i like to write things down do it past three months what did you spend your money on right and then so it just gives you an idea of like where you're at and what your main focus is because he, a big thing that you're gonna you might have to do is make a few sacrifices right like is it eating out because like a lot of times that's a big one right eating out eating food right can you sacrifice that a couple times a week so it's just things like that like it'll open your eyes to oh shit like this is where i'm screwing up like okay now i know where i could start to improve right and then this one's kind of cool too so what you're going to want to do is any like subscription or like expense that you have on a monthly basis so for example your phone bill um, your car insurance whether it's your um, maybe it's your loan for the car you have or whatever right um, it could be any type of subscription call these companies and call other companies too right and see if you can get better deals. So for example, with your car insurance, call like five different car insurance companies and see like if you can get a better deal. Like believe it or not, a hundred bucks a month if you could save, that's like, that's perfect. That's like 1200 bucks a year. Like that's huge, right? So it adds up over time. Like a hundred bucks a month, you might be thinking, oh, whatever. But like it adds up. Like that extra hundred bucks could help you put it into a random investment or into a savings goal that you have or whatever, right? Or your phone bill, right? Like, yo, know, low key, call your phone providers and like straight up be like, yo, what are you guys doing? Like, I need something cheaper here. Like, and honestly, they'll hook you up. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, you don't get what you don't ask for. So like straight up, that's what I recommend doing. Like I had a buddy tell me, um, it has to do with insurance, but I had a buddy tell me he was calling around for different insurances because um, he's living on his own and he has a car and they do bundles, right? So he was calling around and he was en he ended up figuring out that he could save 175 bucks a month. That's like, yo, that's like over, I'm pretty sure that's over $1,500 a year. That's huge. Like scoop that up, 
scoop that money up, boy. Come on. Like, it's just easy shit that, like, it might take some time. Do it on a Saturday, right? But, like, find the time to do this shit because it, it low-key helps, right? And I wrote all these down. That's why I'm, you, you're like, what is he doing? I'm looking at the paper. Um, so, the next one, this one is some, like, tedious shit. Like, you're probably going to think, how meticulous is this guy? Like, you have OCD, but, like, I don't care. <laughs> and it helps me because, like, I've honestly built such a solid habit. And it's keeping track of every single dollar I spend. So I started this back in, I think it was 2020, but I wasn't like super consistent with it. So in 2021, I was like, yo, I'm keeping track of every dollar. So I did. And I realized a few things like, I don't know if I still have the paper laying around, whatever. I ended up realizing like I spent and keep in mind, like I'm living at home. Shout out to mom and dad, bless up. But I spent like, 1400 bucks on food and i was being like straight up i remember being aware of being like ah, don't spend too much on food and i spent 1400 bucks all year now some people are like dude live your life like are you a freaking robot but at the same time it's like yo i it'll help you get to your house that you want like sooner or a dream car if that's what you want sooner or it'll just help you get overall better with handling your own money knowing where it goes is huge so like when you write down everything and just try it right just for a month and then you'll start to realize like oh shit nice like this is how much i have left over like oh shoot look what i could do with this and then you start to think of the things that you can do right so yeah that one's probably the best one on the list keep track of every dollar if you're too like soft to write down all the things that you wrote from january then just start keeping track of every single dollar you spent from like today if you're like interested right like do it the next thing is every single paycheck that you get right so i get paid on a weekly basis from my job every paycheck that i get i at least try to save 90 percent. like of course there's things that come up right like i just recently got a tattoo um so I had to manage like taking some money out of the stock gains and taking some money out of my, you know, what I would have spent like kept in my savings or whatever to spend on the tattoo or like going to a trip to Boston or things like that. Of course, things come up. But like, keep in mind that like, if you consistently build this habit, you're going to, I'm telling you, like save, especially if you're living at home, right? Like this is, this video is mostly for people who are still living at home, but like, whatever your paycheck is a thousand bucks a week 750 bucks a week whatever 1200 bucks a week whatever your paycheck is save like straight up as much as you can and then don't even look at it and then by the end of the month when you have your you know credit card bill or your insurance for your car or your phone bill etc then with that last paycheck or the yeah, the fourth week, right? Like that last paycheck, then use that paycheck to kind of fizzle it out. Like it'll be so much better for you. You'll find that like, oh shoot, I'm saving so much more again, right? Like a lot of this comes with some sacrifice. Like you're gonna see if you do some of this stuff, you're gonna be like, damn, maybe I shouldn't spend more money on food. Maybe I shouldn't go out drinking all the time. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Like, again, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I'm just trying to tell you what works for me when it comes to being like frugal. But like, hey man, it happens. Like, it helps a lot, for real. Like, you'd be surprised that like, if you, there's this quote, right? It's it's no discipline. And if there's no discipline, there's no success. But if you know discipline, you will know success. So it's like, this starts with it. Like, it's this small habit that'll help you find your way and you start building more habits onto this. Like, everyone needs money, man. Like, I don't want to hear, like, oh, like, money doesn't make you happy. Or, like, oh, go live your life and enjoy. And it's like, yo, dude, like, man, like, yeah. like people are just mad ignorant. It's actually hilarious. The It's, it's funny because, like, usually the people who say that are the people who have, like, their parents buying them everything. Like, yo, they got their first car from the parents. Oh, they freaking got this house from their parents and shit like that. It's like, yo, you're lost, boy. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Last one, right? This one's just, like, for shits. It doesn't really count, but, like, challenge yourself. Like, have challenges. So, like, if... 
you are eating food like every single day each week for lunch at work make it a challenge where like i'm gonna bring in a lunch for this whole week and see and see how much money i could save like small challenges like that like or if you're just starting off with some of this stuff you could literally be like i'm gonna keep track of everything i spend for the next two weeks every single dollar every day so just shit like that it helps yeah so this is the video of uh what is it five things five ways to be more frugal whatever man you but you do this for i'm telling you it's it's clutch the more the longer you prolong this habit so i hope it helps peace